All right, so here we are at our second property. We're a little further east into Escondido. It has a three car garage. It's a quiet street also, it's pretty close. And there's, that's a cul-de-sac there at the end. And the uh, subdivision backs up to that mountain. Let's go inside. So we got a three car garage. Looks like some termite work. Some cosmetic repairs. I figured you'd probably want to take video of this one. Yes, I kind of like this one. Did you hear that? She kind of likes it. <laughs> um, because it's livable, but there's a lot of things we could do to make it a lot nicer. Okay. You know, when I've, uh, I've done a, uh, a pool filling before, and it's, uh, a lot of it depends on finding a, uh, the right pool contractor. There's companies that all they do is dig pools, and if you can, if if they've got an air a pool that they're digging in the area, mm -hmm. they're always looking to for a place to dump the dirt. So you can usually work a deal out, and uh, the hardest thing is just getting the dirt down the side of the house. Yeah, so you got to be able to get a bobcat in and out and. Usually that means removing some uh, fencing gate area. But. So we've got a pretty good sized living room. How many square feet is this? This one is uh, 1606. Three or four bedroom? Uh, four bedroom, two baths, three car garage. And actually the master is decent. It's a good size master. Hallway. And um, this is okay, obviously, but I mean, it needs to be remodeled. But it's something that would we could live in until it was removed. Good size closet. ceilings. Pretty good sized bedroom or master bedroom. View the pool in the back there. Then you have the second bedroom. needs to be updated, but it's not mold infested or anything. It's decent. It's the second bath. The uh, interesting thing about this house is that it's all one level. I know, I was thinking that. And that's uh, something you don't find. It's the third bedroom. It's starting to become much more than that. For resale value, because of older them, people, yeah, yeah, the uh, they're starting to really uh, ask for the single levels. Yeah, I really like this one. It's kind of unfortunate. I mean, the ceilings are cool, but it's like... Let's go to the important part. Oh yeah, the garage. <laughs> yeah. Car garage. Heating appears to be original. Really? <laughs> Need some new garage doors. Yeah. I could use 
leave some new roll-ups. But the water heater seems like it's, uh, it looks like that's been changed. What do you think was going on here? Um, was there a door there, or what, what did they do there? No. And is this where the washer and dryer would have to go, it looks like? Yep, that's your washer and dryer hook up there. This is nice with the side yard access. Christian and I had talked about that for dogs. We want them to be able to. You can put a doggy door in there. Doggy door there, yep. Putting one in the side of the house is easy, too. The stucco. You know, um, this is much, this is actually. Hard to say why they only would. It's a pretty good side yard, actually. I didn't see it, but you guys probably already saw this off. Yeah, the side yard isn't bad, and the dogs could go out here. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. This side yard is the same size as the wildflower. There's the side yard, the backyard, the pool. It's hard to tell, but it's a pretty good sized backyard, even with the pool. It is a single level home. You see this? The pool has some issues. It's not a real pool. No, it's a pool. You hardly see these anymore. I just noticed because I can see the earth. It's kind of different. Um, yeah, this is some, this would need something. Yeah, it's almost not real. These old vinyl pools are just not even worth fixing up, which is why it's not a bad idea to. Yeah, you could get a bobcat on the side there pretty easily if you. Yeah. You'd have to, to fill this. The, the, you know, lift the concrete up first. You'd have to break out the concrete and get that. Uh, do you have any idea what it would away. cost to do something like that? If you can, if someone's got the dirt available and it's not way out, uh, you don't have to you know, spend it too much. Breaking up the concrete would probably be the most expensive part. A couple of thousand to break up and haul away the concrete, two, three thousand, and then another fifteen hundred to fill it in. You just, you know. Where you end up with dirt? Yeah, if this if this pool wasn't here, and if we could kind of, this would be an a really nice backyard because there is privacy. You can't see the neighbors. Yeah. Um, yeah, this it's it's got a nice privacy. You could break it up in such a way where you keep all that concrete, up you know, there. along the back, and that and could be a patio, patio, and then the grass beyond here. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, with well, just some landscaping, if you were to you know kind of cut this in half, and then have grass going up there and. Yeah. Just a random snail hanging out. We have a lot of snails in Southern California. It's the climate. I didn't look at the other side yet. Did you guys? No, I didn't go down there. Do you see snails very often? No. Like, no, yeah. I don't think so. Not snails in They'd all freeze. Here, they're everywhere. So this is unusable. But you could, you know, make that grass and kind of turn into a dog run or something. I don't know. But you probably let your dogs yeah. run all over. Yeah, they just go wherever. Oh, there's a dog on the other side. Hey, buddy. Are you friendly? Are you a friendly dog? We probably walked back home. You guys could hike up that mountain. Alright, that's a huge mountain. Yeah, that'd be a, an adventure.
Thank you. Yeah, the front yard. Uh, this is all. That's quite the view. Yeah, that's really. That's a cool. Just the color of that mountain is really nice, and the rocks. That's crazy. We have to worry about mudslides and stuff, though. Um, you guys wouldn't. I thought it was over there, maybe, but yeah, we'd be yeah. away from that. Huh? Yeah, the with those homes with or the mountains that have a lot of rocks into them, they're usually the mudslides aren't <clears throat> that big of a deal. But sometimes when you have big rainstorms, some of those. Uh, rocks will loosen up a little bit and they'll come rolling down the hill. So. Yeah, this house would probably be fine because it'd have to go through all the other houses. Yeah, you'd, you'd be, yeah, you'd be fine. Yeah, this is an awesome, this is a nice street. Anything else or should nope. I? What termites do? Yeah. See how that's eat, eating that away the wood? Yeah. Southern California termites. So it's pretty evident that uh, this house has got a lot of termites. Alright, let me turn the. Uh, 